Hello, everybody. Uh, Nick Eubanks here. I wanted to tell you about a new free tool I'm putting out uh, and just and, uh, give you the use case, show you how to use it, walk through um, our Reddit scraper. Um, so uh, first thing I wanted to just uh, dive into is to, to sort of set the stage for the use case. So it's no secret um, that Reddit is a, a gold mine of information and activity and engagement. It's literally called the front page of the internet, getting over a billion visits per day. Um, but with that said, uh, I don't think enough people, especially enough agency owners, are really using it yet to mine not only competitive information, but to look for um, nomenclature patterns to identify potentially new products or services or even um, ideas to topic ideas to inform your content strategy. Um, and that's what I want to go over a little bit today. Um, so here I'm, I'm just on the, the SEO subreddit. Um, you can see there's a post four hours ago. Is there a way to know what people are searching for in Google Images? Crawl, but not index backlinks. Do they have an impact? It'd be a great blog post. Um, what metrics to take into consideration to determine the quality of a link? You can see this one's actually getting some decent activity. Um, what's amazing usually is the golden nuggets are usually not just the posts and post descriptions themselves. Like here's the post title and the post description, um, but within the the answers and questions that people are, are, are giving, like here's somebody actually breaking down the potential, like what they look for. Um, but uh, going through these uh, so seo would be a great way to look at what competitors are potentially doing um but then you can go into broader um subreddits like digital marketing here for example to look for again uh, more broad patterns i mean it says uh 29 people are online in this subreddit right now there's almost thirty-three thousand members um it's pr a pretty active uh subreddit i come here pretty often um, but this part, there, there seems to be a lot of discussion around facebook uh like what uh, are the ad restrictions around the adult categories um, specific use cases for optimizing Facebook campaigns, converting Facebook engagement to website engagement. Um, I mean, a lot of ideas here for uh, ways to package up your products and services, the, the nomenclature to use them when you're positioning them within the market, uh, and then um, uh, ways to inform the a, a content strategy if you're going to use a you know a content marketing or, or SEO approach to try to push out and, and drive traffic and, and engagement and awareness um, for these these services. The problem is going through. All of these and, and you know essentially having somebody copy and paste these post titles and all of these descriptions and then like i said the meat is really tends to come in the comments so like having to have somebody go in and copy and paste again all of these comments um to get these all into into a sheet where you would be able to actually start parsing it looking for patterns and it, uh it is is a daunting task um which is why i uh, created this guy here um the reddit scraper um so uh, simple enough here. This will pull all the top posts um, and all of their corresponding comments. Um, it will give you the date of the post, title of the post, the full text description of the post, and then the link back to the actual source post. Uh, and then in terms of the comments, again, date, title, description, uh, and link again. And these will be all of the actual comments themselves. This is just a config sheet where you can set some, some rules. I would not recommend setting any of these uh, or messing with these, but if you really want to, you can change. Um, you know, whether or not you uh, update the, the same sheet or a new sheet, if you want the top post to start, um, the row you want the top post to start on, um, how many new posts you want to load. Um, but these, these settings work pretty well. Um, to use this, there's this native menu we created right here um, called the Reddit menu. So we would set our subreddit. Um, you need to make sure that you actually set the subreddit exactly as it appears within the URL. So for digital marketing, we want to call this right here literally digital underscore marketing. Um, so I'm going to set that as the subreddit. Cool, that is done. And then all I'm, I need to do um, from here uh, is to just go back up to this menu and hit scrape now. It takes about 10 seconds um, for it to go out and do the fetch uh, and populate everything. And we can see here, um, here we're getting, these are from the, so these are actually pulling the top posts, not just the most recent, um, although that's a setting that you can make in the config file, but the top posts are tend to be a little bit more valuable. Um, so we can see we've got top posts here ranging from, you know, there's May 13th, May 31st, uh, June 4th, May 22nd. Uh, it's going to pull the full description, um, which you can see um, in here, up here, for example. Um, here's the source link um, to the entire, to the, where the actual post was made itself. Um, and then all the top comments are going to come through as well. Um, so again, here's the post source. So like these comments here, we can see, do you get genuinely terrified before sending out a newsletter? Um, that post itself looks like it's got uh, 21 to two. So it's got 19 comments on it. Um, here is the title of those comments. Then here's the, or the title of the post itself. 
um, post source and then the individual description. So these are the actual comments themselves. Um, and you can see just from pulling the top posts from digital marketing, we've pulled in comments for 308, uh, so 308 sets of comments. And again, all with the original links. So you can actually see here, these have the comment ID on them. Um, and this lets you use this um, to, again, to be in mine for competitive intelligence. Um, a tool really couldn't be simple to use. Um, so if you want to grab your own copy in this post, there's a, there's a button um, in the blog post or in the, the YouTube video, if you're watching on YouTube, just go grab the link in the post um, and it'll ask you to make a copy. Um, have a good time and uh, happy scraping.